Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Check it out. Our mining drills are now powered. We're just running a single, um, single electric engine off of each of these. And I tapped into the electrical power from our power plant. So this is, all looks very, very cool to me. I think that's all we're going to need in terms of uh, output. That's going to be plenty for building materials. And just temporarily, again, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I just kind of tapped into the power line over here, ran it underground a little bit, and then straight over to the building. And I can fill this up with dirt, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see. Hopefully it won't crash the game, the game if I try this. Oh. Oh. Let's see. There we go. No, we're fine. Yeah, I can't really cover it up. But eventually I'm going to... Over here, I'm going to route this wire underground so we won't see it. That's going to be a long task. I'll do it between episodes. Anyway, we're powered up. So let's head back up here. And that's our mall floor where we're going to pick up materials. Here is our production. We probably, I don't know if we have to pick a recipe here. Let's get another. We were working on the, just the stone I think it's stone tiles, right? These guys right here, stone tiles. That's, I believe we can use those, right? To build, let's just see. Uh, let's make sure I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I think I've seen people use these. They look kind of cool, something different. Uh, kind of complements the brick, but we're not gonna use them right now. Right now we're looking to produce all this stuff. There are the dark stone and the red stone making their way up the floors. Now we need to dump this guy out, I think, onto a belt. Let's just see. Um, yeah, we're good. That's it. That is it. And so all we need to do now with these is route them back down to the uh, first floor. Now we could... What we could do, if we want to just leverage this same line, we could just split this belt here, the one with the stone tiles on it, send some of the stone tiles over to be made into bricks, and send the rest down onto the mall floor to be stored uh, for later. We've got room here. I think we may as well just have a second line. Uh, it'll look better. We have all the shop space here. This may end up being a lot of wasted on some of the floors, but I think we'll just set up another, another line here. We'll just get started on it. Uh, this one, we're going to need another splitter. Same kind of thing. Since we have the room, let's go to, we can always move it later and let's grab another splitter. We'll craft up a couple of those if we can. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for that to craft. Shouldn't take too long. I think these drop in now as soon as they're crafted, aren't don't they? Oh nope, it's gonna wait for the whole batch. Uh, I thought I saw it. Where is it? There it is. Boom. Yeah, it does one at a time, so that's good. Boom. Now this stone is gonna follow kind of the same thing. It's just a tiny bit longer process. One more uh, cutter, I believe, is the only real difference here. We got plenty of robotic arms for now. And I think I made some cutters. We probably need to make more of those. I don't think I made more. We've got three. I know I'm going to need more. Let's get those queued up. Grab that guy back. Grab our cutter. I just saw three of them. There we go. And I think we need two this time. Now, did I leave enough room for the engine, the motor? Not, not enough. I want, I want a little more space than that. Don't like crowded, compact, overly compact designs. <laughs> I know a lot of people really love it. Love, love, love making it as compact and efficient, space efficient as possible. I do not. I like making it look like it's actually a real place. Someone would be walking in and having to service these machines without it being so crowded. Plus, it gives us some room if we if we make mistakes, we want to rework things a little bit. It just always feels a little safer to me. Leave a little extra room. I think we just run this through two cutters, if I'm not mistaken. 
Let's pop another one down. We'll find out soon enough. Boom. Nice. And then while we're here, let's do our inserter and let's do just a belt. We'll route these down to the mall once we've got it, kind of this floor laid out. Power lines, we're going to run along the ceiling. Let's go ahead and add some more ceiling. It looks like this is going to line up pretty convenient. Before we do, let's put our motors down. Do we have some? Doesn't look like it. I guess I don't see them right away. Where are they on here? There they are, electric engines. And again, we may be able to just get, we don't have aluminum yet, but we may be able to get by with steel for this whole building and never really upgrade this. I don't know that we're going to have massive demand coming out of here. But it is kind of fun. It's kind of a fun project, I think. You can go there and you can go there. Let's see. If I get some. I got to figure out how I want to route the uh, power line. I obviously can't go through these belts, so it would have to be one on the inside. That's the only problem. I guess no matter what we do, we're going to have an issue of the power line potentially getting in the way. Let's, let's maybe just cut across here. Again, I may need to get some copper. I don't know that I've got everything I need to pull this off. Um, I think I want to actually come down from the ceiling just for the look. I know I could chain those together less cable, but I think that looks a little cooler to me. And then this line may go feed uh, the next one, which I think we're going to be turning it into gravel or sand. So there's our bricks. Awesome. Very cool. And then, yeah, our next belt. I think we just need to do sand. I'm going to look at my notes. Or well, we, we can look at the tech tree. Let's just take a quick look. Here's stone. Right, we can turn it into tile. We can turn it into gravel. If we do the tile, that gets us brick, and that's pretty much it. With the backspace key. Now we do the gravel. we got to run it through a automatic hammer. We'll make one of those. Then once it's hammered, we got to macerate it or macerate it and turn it into sand. And then once we have the sand, I think we, yeah, we have the floor space. We could just cook this into glass right on this floor. Might as well. And then eventually we're going to send the glass. So here, yeah, here's what we need. Just a smelter or we'll use the electric, right? We don't want to use the heat if we don't have to. We'll grab a steel arc smelter, run the sand through there, get the glass, and then we're going to send the glass up to another floor. And we're going to pair the glass. I think it's down here. Where is it? Oh, man, I hope it's in here. Where is it? Uh, stainless steel. Con yeah, it's in the constructor, I thought. Ooh, where's the window? Is there a window? Oh, man, I thought there was a uh, wooden window. Advanced sign, aluminum advanced sign, 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 terminals, computers. Oh man, where am I confused? I'm confused about something. Advanced signs. Yeah, I don't want that. Huh. Glass. Let's take a look at the window. I may be be confused. I thought for sure there's a way to do this. Window. The wood one. Boom. Oh, you can only handcraft. What? Handcraft into a window. Boy, that's kind of a bummer. It's an automation game. Not the end of the world, but not great. That means we got to have planks and glass down in the mall. Uh, that's kind of a, that's a little bit of a letdown. I got to say, let's, uh, let's look at the plastic window. Is that any different? Whoops. Let's 
I already researched. Plastic window. Yeah, you only have to handcraft the windows. I guess it's a little, yeah, it's, it's kind of like what we're doing with the stairs. We're going to handcraft them. But I think we're going to end up sticking with the, uh, with the wood ones. So bummer. All right. Well, we can at least make the glass and send that back down. Uh, we're going to need an arc smelter for that. And we need to grind this down with a macerator, I guess. Let's do this. We'll have some extra shop space over here. We need, uh, let's look at that recipe one more time for the glass. We need, let's see, arc smelter. And then to turn it into sand, we macerate it and we hammer it. Hammer the stone, macerate the gravel. So hammer it, then macerator. Macerator. I have a couple of these. Uh, do I have the arc smelter? I sure should. Boy, this takes a lot of resource. What am I missing? I got tons of copper. What is the resource that I'm light on here? It says I can only make four. I'm just going to grab one because I think it's all we need. Stone. Of all things, stone. We can go get more stone pretty easily. In fact, there's some right in front of us. Um, that's the smelter. And then we need the macerator, right? This guy, let's grab one of those. In fact, I probably didn't even need the two hammers. Boom. Hammer. Did I leave room for a motor? Looks like I did. Good. And another robotic arm. This one's the macerator, right? Where are you? Okay. okay. Looks familiar. We used those when we were doing the steel production. Meanwhile, while we're working all, on all this, we are um, banking up a ton of basic circuits <laughs> and we're not having to do research because the research tree is pretty much exhausted until we get to the advanced circuits. So that's why I'm not bothering with research right now. We are fully, fully researched as far as we can be with where we're at. All right. Now we need to smelt this, right? That's going to get me sand. Do I send sand through a, one of these guys? Let's place the arc smelter. I'm not sure. Oh, that's going to work. I haven't used this guy yet either. Looks kind of cool. A little bit bigger. Uh, we want this guy, hopefully. Hopefully that will be fed in correctly. Now this guy needs power directly, so he could probably inch over and be just fine, right? It would line up with the uh, motors. Let's do that instead. Show you what I mean. Boom. Get some more motors down to a hat. I do. And I should be able to see this in action pretty soon. Let's extend the ceiling. And I can make it look pretty off camera, perhaps. Boom. And then we want this guy to come down. I think that's it, right? Yep. Gonna come over this way a bit more. Yeah, didn't want to put it in robotic arm up there or inserter as I call them. Basically, just wanted a little bit more of our ceiling so I can run that power line. This one, I think, comes straight down here. Boom, and then boom. I can hear the macerator doing its thing. Is that it? Just two more? Yeah. And this guy... Over there. Check it out. And then I guess I can belt out of this thing. Looks like that's going to work. And belt. Ouch. 
check it out. All right, there's our glass. That'll head uh, downstairs. We could, if I got enough room here. I know I don't like, I say I don't like to crowd things in. But we got to send wood down and we got to send wood up, right? We want to send it down, the wood planks, so that we can handcraft the windows along with this glass, right? We'll take wood planks and the glass, handcraft it into windows, and be on our way. Both those need to be in the mall, which means wood's got to go down. And then wood could also go up, or I'll show you this block right here, the wooden planks. These look kind of cool, by the way. Um, I had one on me. I already placed them. I, I can make one here, right? Show you what it looks like. I think these are kind of cool. We might find a use for these. Kind of neat. They, I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> I got one little block. But it sounds different when you walk on them too. But I could see using that stylistically for flooring or for ceilings or even making a wood building. It looks kind of cool. I kind of like it. So we want to manufacture those too. I guess we could do that on this floor too. We got plenty of room. So... Let's see, where is our stairs going to be? We came up over here. So in theory, our stairs going up might actually be right here. Right? In theory, if you were to have these kind of right next to each other, it would kind of make logical sense. Uh, but it's going to be a little crowded. A little crowded, but I'm not going to move. Now we could put the stairs further along. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I do want them here. Let's try it. But I might be able to get away without having... Um, Without having to have stairs like right underneath here. Like I don't have to have this whole wall come down. I can leave room so we can walk through. Let's see what I mean here in a second. Something like this. Let's see if I can get them oriented correctly this time. It's hard to tell, right? When you're uh like Tell, can you see the bricks in that little green thing? Okay, those look like they're oriented, you know, pretty good. I did turn down the graphic settings a tiny bit just to uh, save my graphics card a little bit because it really hums, heats up when I'm playing this game. So we might be able to get away without it looking too bad just by taking that out. Even these two, right? Uh, let's stick with that for now. So that's our stairs going back up. But now we got to find a place to send these products down. So we could come out and then down along this wall, send them back down to the mall. So they would be coming down kind of over this way. And we're going to have a bunch, right? We've got three already and then how are we going to get them to the shelves hmm need to think about that we can have shelves here yeah it might be a little tricky let's do that first let's figure it out let's do some of this this work So, yeah, again, we're just working right now. We're just working on figuring out how to get the finished products because we've got a few of them now ready to come down into the mall so we can scoop them up later. So we got to send them back down and then uh, put them on shelves so that later on we can come in and grab them. And that is what we're working on. So let's do it. Let's see how this looks. I'm getting a little 
stuck there. I'm not sure what the issue is. Every once in a while, I get a little lag. It's almost like it's saving, but I don't think it is. Boom, and down you go. These are the stone tiles. We haven't used these yet, but they do look cool. So if this guy comes down, like so, a little little uncool let's grab some of these let's just grab one of these or not Just to optimize the space, I'll probably put them this way. Let's see, can I start storing this stuff off? That'll do. That will do. And it'd be cool if I could put a sign on here. Let's see. Do I have a screw up sign? Yeah, boom. Just see if I can label this. I don't know if I can. Um, let's see, do I still have this? Yeah, I have these special characters I uh, saved. <laughs> They're still in my buffer. Uh, my copy for my clipboard. Anyway, this would be um, stone. Let me get that mouse out of the way so it's not so annoying. Stone tiles. Enter, and then we'll just do some pasting, and I've got that. Check it out. Looks kind of cool, right? I think it does. Yeah, that's neat. That's neat. I don't know how to make use of all this other space <laughs> over here. We'll see. We'll figure it out. It will be functional first and then practical second. Uh, let's see. Can we get a little creative and build a little bit more wall while we're up here? Boom. There's some funky way of doing this. Did that do it? Yeah, cool. All right, let's skip a spot and then we will uh, route our next product down that way, right? Now we could conserve a little space. Well, I guess now that we know how we're going to do it. Ooh, what's the hold up here? I guess it's just that inserter is so slow. Yep, that's all right. Doesn't matter. All right. Last thing we were going to do was wood, right? Wood. No, it was, uh, yeah, we got the glass. We thought about actually doing wood some of it would go back up maybe on this side we'd we'd have it go up and then some of it would go down into the mall and we could still use this wall right so this is going to be let's see let's put the belts down right that's going to be one of them Right, so, oh, no, 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 yeah, that's right. Uh, that's actually it. We've only got three things. Yeah, we're going to do the other stone. We're going to mirror this, basically, for the next two floors. We might be able to actually get the red and the dark stone done on one floor because we won't have the wood or the glass 
and there's only two things that need to come off of those. So, yeah. So let's do the wood. The wood would end up going in here. We can actually do the wood blocks and the planks, right? We need to send planks down and we need to send the wood blocks down. Let's start, let's start and just see where we end up. I'm going to use, if I happen to have atmospheric condensers, I'll use them. I think I left some way over by the uh, copper mine. I'm not going to go fetch those. We'll just make some more. Let's see. We're going to use these for water. Or no, wait, I don't even, yeah, I need water. That's right. I need water for the uh, automatic farm. We can make these out of steel too, I suppose. I just, do I have dirt on me? I do. I just need one. Ooh, is it not going to let me? There it goes. It wasn't so fast. Yeah, I got two now. I don't need two. Uh, automatic farm. What else? Atmospheric condenser. Where are you? You're in here somewhere. I don't see you. I think there's a steel one, isn't there? There it is. Boom. Yeah, it's cheap. I believe this thing's not going to need any power at all. Where are you? You guys probably see it there. I got three of them. How did I end up with three of them? All right. I didn't need to make it. And this doesn't need anything for water, right? So let's pop this guy over here. That's a fair amount of room. We got at least a block. Set this guy to water. Doesn't take anything. It's already producing it. Then we got our automatic farm. Yeah, we got just enough room to do this here. I think we might have a hard time routing that wood back. Let's cheat this over a little bit in this direction. It's a little more cramped than I like, but I can accept it. Uh, let's grab pipe, and I think I have some. Steel pump. I don't think I need a pump. I don't think I need a pump to get the water out. We'll find out in a second. That may have changed. Uh, I'm looking for steel pipe. Would that be here? Let's make some of that. That where I have dirt. I was filling in some holes with the dirt that I uh, got from digging between episodes a couple episodes ago. Did I not just place it there? I thought I did. Apparently not. Are you? Okay. I think I got to right click to get this clear and then drag this guy down. Take it. Whatever you want, I will do it. Okay. Is this guy getting water? Um, can't tell. We want wood first. Boom. It's getting water. It's doing its thing. Not going to be too worried about how efficient this is. I just need to do a couple things. I need to cut this into wood and then wood planks and then split it. Let's look at the recipe for planks. I got them right here. Just got to cut it. And then what is the recipe for the block? building block that is where are you where i thought we made here it is one second it takes one wood plank and oh that's the hand crafting oh don't tell me i gotta hand craft these two no 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 we can only do these by hand well that's one last thing we got to worry about we're just going to send planks down to the mall right yeah, you can only do these by hand. Oh, that's a bummer. Don't like it. But it does simplify our build. We can just do planks, send them down to the mall, and then we're done. Right? So that's going to be kind of easy. Like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about how optimized this line is. We just, we just don't need to worry about it. It's one less floor, too. We're not going to need to send this up. We can't make the window frames or windows. Um, 
So yeah, that being the case, let's put the rest of these belts down. Now we need to make more. You go on your happy way. And these guys go on their happy way. I'm sure I gotta make more belts. Yep. Let's do it. Tempted to automate those, but we are gonna keep moving up the tiers as we get the other metals. Okay, we gotta run this through a cutter. We got, we should have one in here, right? Sort. There you are. We need a motor for that. Boom. Belts. Slowly being crafted here. Way I don't I don't have enough for this, but I got enough for that. Let's in the meantime do our ceiling if we can. We probably actually want to run the power just for consistency along this line. And then Needed right here, right? How can I tell where that is? We got one more. I think that's it, right? Boom. And then you can come over to here. I think that's what I'm looking looking at. Clean this up a little tiny bit. Yeah, we'll finish the ceiling and everything here, but let's just see if this is all working for us. There's our planks. So yeah, it's not too bad. It's, is it perfectly efficient? It certainly is not. But uh, this does the job, and I actually got more done on this floor than I was expecting. A little bummed that we can't make the... Uh, the wood blocks, and I'm bummed that we can't make, um, what was the other thing that requires two things? Uh, I've already forgotten what it was. Oh, the windows. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. So we got to handcraft those things. But it's not the end of the world. Check it out. Not bad, right? I think this is cool. I like it. So again, yeah, this is just going to be like our little mall for building materials. We'll come and get them here. Let's see. I need, what do I need for more shelves? I need the wood that we're producing. I guess I can bring all these down. down. They do look a little goofy going all the way into the floor, but... Can't do much about that, I don't think. I may need to grab some of these. How much wood do I have? No, I got plenty. Let's do what? We need three more shelves at least. One. I'll queue up five of those. Inserters. We're going to need more of these too. And again, I'm not really automating these because I think we're going to have better and better ones as we move on. So and I'm not sure how fast we're going to progress. So I don't want to end up automating something. I'm just going to throw away the automation line. All right. Let's grab our shelves. Are they ready? No, we're building belts. Let's get, turn that off for now. All right, here they come. off my inventory when I didn't have it made. Okay, these are take a little bit of time. I do have one more. We can place that. Boom. And then I need one more. Okay. 
Check it out. We can make our little signs. Kill some time that way. Where are those? Decoration, right? Uh, steel sign. Just for fun. We don't really need these, but... I made three. Is there another one coming? No. There it is. All right, let's get these placed here. Boom. 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 Right click on that one. I'm just going to select all this text. Copy it. Right click. Paste. And this is stone bricks. Cool. I like it. That's pretty cool. And this is, what was this one? This is the, uh, glass. I think we have to do it like that. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that looks good. And then this one is the wood. What do they call those? Wood planks. Wood planks. Uh, now nah, let's make it two lines. You, and then I think I got to delete that to keep it centered. Boom, check it out. Nice, I like it a lot. Got 170 of those already, 39 bricks, glass, and planks. Nice, this is cool actually turned out a little better than I thought. We're going to have a lot of extra room. Like I said, I don't really know what to do with this middle area. I suppose we could, if we had to, we could come down through the ceiling somehow. I don't know how that would make sense. Like how to use the middle of this room. But these are a mess. Let's take these up real quick. See if we can't orient these better. I don't know why they turned out so bad. This one, you can't really tell that it's on wrong. That. Let's do it. Eight. Let's just see if that's going to be better. How can you tell? No, that's wrong. See? Ooh. Can I? Let's see. Just for fun. I have a screwdriver. I, I got to learn how to use this because I got to tell you, I have no idea. It's not intuitive. Oops, not that way. Now I can do it. Did I do it? Nope, I did not. I need to what? Now I need to go up twice. Yeah, we might not be spending time doing this because this is going to drive you guys absolutely nuts. Watching me do this. I'm not sure why it's not. I can't get that oriented correctly. That looks right. Now, how come I can't swivel it? So I would think that if I looked here, clicked and dragged that way, I would want to rotate this basically clockwise. Oh, that worked. No, it didn't. Yeah, I don't know. We'll deal with this some other day. It's not wanting to work. Of course, these ones will probably all place backwards. Yeah, not sure. Not sure what, what the deal is there. Can I rotate them here? Alt R. Nope. Oh. Did that work? That did work. Shoot. As soon as I get off of here, I'm just not going to let me do it. 
Let's try. Sorry for the distraction. But uh, I'd like to get this done right. One more time. Hopefully. Okay, that's the wrong way, of course. That would be the default for whatever reason. I have no idea. That seems like an odd way to default these bricks. Or the stairs. Eight. Okay, let's do an alt R, an alt R, R, R. That's wrong. That is also wrong. Last try. Yep, some other time. Some other time, maybe between episodes, I'll learn what the technique is. But that's got to be unnerving to watch. Sorry about that. Let's clear this out. So yeah, we're coming up towards the end of this episode. I guess what we'll do next, next episode, we'll just move on up to the next floor. I'll clean up the ceiling, right? It looks kind of goofy. And we'll build up to the next floor. We'll do some of that here. And then we'll do, I think we can get away doing the red brick and the dark brick probably on the same floor. I bet we can get both of those done. We'll need four lines, but they're kind of skinny lines, right? It's just these two. It's the tiles, which we just run the stone through a cutter. And then the bricks where we run it through two cutters. That's it. So we just need four lines. Uh, we can definitely do that. Four products, and I think we're done with this whole building, right? Because we're stuck handcrafting a lot of stuff. The windows is kind of a bummer. Doors we can always handcraft. And then the, uh, yeah, the windows and the wood blocks we'll have to handcraft, and then we'll be done with building materials. Just one more floor. Not bad. We'll tackle that next episode. I'll do maybe a little bit between episodes. But yeah, let's wrap this one here. For now, this is Glattercat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this content. It's kind of slow, but uh, I'm enjoying it. And we'll make use of these materials. I think it kind of turned, this turned out actually kind of cool. I'm kind of liking it. And once we get the different color brick, we'll be able to do some other buildings and, and maybe try and get a little more creative rather than having everything we see be made out of these bricks. For now, again, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.